Hi, I'm Brian Krupski, and today we got a Silverado 1500 LTZ double cab. Now, the Silverados have been redesigned for 14 and 15 for the 1500 models. If you look at the front end, it's no longer um, like that rounded off design with the rounder lights. Everything's more boxy looking, more fierce looking. So you're going to get a lot more chrome in the front end here. Going down the side with the LTZ, you're going to have the 20 inch chrome tires on here as well as having the chrome appearance along the sides. So your mirror is not going to be body or black colored, they're going to be the chrome as well as your door handles. Now the nice thing about the double cab, it is the replacement for the extended cab, whereas it used to have a back hinging inner latch for the door. Now it's all front, uh, front latch, or front hinge, and um, there's an actual door handle on there that goes into the back seat. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the extended cab, but not quite as big as the crew cab. Going along to the bed here then, this one's going to have the standard six foot bed on, or six and a half foot bed on it. You're also going to have the easiest step rails, uh, easy assist step rails for getting in and out of the bed. Coming to the back too, you're also going to have your rear parking camera as well as your rear parking assist, that way you're not screwing up your nice chrome bumper. As well as having an uh, easy lower tailgate too, so that way it's not slamming down on your legs, hitting anything in your pockets, you know, giving you bruises. Looking into the tailgate too, you're also going to have LED box lighting in here, like right about here. You should be able to see it. If you got a cargo cover or anything on here, you know, you can light up the boxes and see everything inside without having to roll the top up. I'm coming around to the front of the vehicle then. You're going to have all power seats inside this vehicle. The rear and front park assist, nice feature about it, is it's got rumble seats. If you start getting close to anything, the seats are going to vibrate left or right depending on what side you're getting close to something. Or you can turn that off and have it chirp through the vehicle for you. So again, I'm Brian Krupski. I'm one of the sales and leasing consultants over here at Phillips Chevrolet. Stop on by.